Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Winger and a Sleepy Weiler. We are getting ready to read Mary Had a Little Lab. I don't think he's going to stay tuned for the whole book. He looks pretty sleepy. Mary had a little lab she tested and created. While other kids were at the park, she built and calculated. Inventing can be lonely, though she rarely stopped for fun. One day she thought she'd call a friend, but she couldn't think of one. Maybe I just need a pet, one fluffy, soft, and sweet, to snuggle, cuddle, hold, and love to make my life complete. She traveled to a local farm with scissors and a sack. She snipped a tiny tuft of wool, then quickly headed back. She made an apparatus with pulleys, knobs, and gears, then set the switches, pipes, and springs, and covered both her ears. The new machine is finished, my best invention ever, and Mary turned the power on and gently pulled the lever. She pushed the wool into the chute and poured the mixture in, then pumped the pedals with her feet to give it all a spin. Sputter, crackle, crinkle, bang. I have a pet to keep. The brilliant budding scientist had made a woolly sheep. The sheep assisted in the lab and often helped with chores. He carried all the groceries and buffed the kitchen floors. He followed her to school one day. The teacher was impressed. He said the sheep could stay in class as Mary's special guest. The kids all rushed to see the sheep and asked if they could play. Oh, Mary, could we have one too? I'll make you some today. She led them to her little lab. Behold the sheepinator. I simply press the button here, the woolly duplicator. But soon the duplicator jammed, the sheep dropped out in twos. They filled the lab, the yard, the street. They made the evening news. The town was overrun with sheep. She made ten times a flock. The wool went on for miles and miles round every city block. That's a lot of sheep. Mary said, let's fix this jam. They pulled until it popped, then flipped the whole thing upside down until at last it stopped. They used the lab to herd the sheep by adding wheels below. Now everywhere that Mary went, her lab was sure to go. They led the sheep to pastures, each farmer chose a few, but Mary had a new idea she wanted to pursue. The town was back to normal, the people were at peace. Now Mary had a pet and friends and heaps of snowy fleece. The end. We hope you enjoyed our story. I think Weiler did. Put him right to sleep. 
We hope you have a good night.